Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Tuesday night, the Dodgers even up the series with the Mets with a 3 to 2 win on a walk off home run by Trace Thompson off Hansel Robles with two out in the bottom of the ninth. You know what's interesting about it is you saw Robles shake off his catcher a couple of times and ended up going the fastball away. He didn't get it away enough, and Thompson, two home runs uh, first night and tonight for the walk off. You know, I put the slider down, but. Um... You know, ultimately, I want my pitcher to have conviction with what he's throwing, and if he doesn't feel comfortable throwing a slider in that situation, then, um, you know, i got to trust him on that. And, and uh, you know, the situation was what it was, and, and Thompson had a good piece of hitting on it, and, and uh, we left the ball up, and they took advantage of it. So. Just made a bed, left it up in the zone. There's not much else to say, and, you know, we all know that you got to keep, keep the ball down. If you're going to pitch up, you better pitch in. And, you know, he left it in the middle of the plate, and they got – Good beat. Jacob DeGrom started the game for the Mets. Trouble early, gave up a couple of runs in the first inning, four extra base hits in the first three innings, but much like in game five against the Dodgers last year, he settled down. You know, you kind of realize that you don't have your best stuff. My stuff was kind of flat in the zone. Um, you know, I was trying to make an adjustment there in the game to get my front side up. It's still a little low, but, um, you know, Kevin did a good job of sticking with me there and and, uh, you know, uh, staying on the same page and still trying to execute pitches when we needed to. I thought he made some really big pitches when he, when he needed to to get out of jams, and, and uh, our defense did a great job behind him. So, um, you know, I thought he threw the ball well and, and uh, made some big pitches when he had to. This night showed what Jake, Jake DeGrom's made of. Uh, you know, people, we all talk about, you know, the, the plus stuff. You know, he's fighting through some mechanical things right now, and this guy was in trouble for the first five innings and yet looked up and he gave you seven innings, and that, that, that tells me a lot about him. It's a little closer. Um, you know, I just looked at it just now. Um, it's a little closer. Not quite where I want to be, but uh, we're making progress, and so um, hopefully next time it'll be a lot better. Yeah, he competed great out there to go seven innings, and he got better, really, as he went along. Six shutout innings after those first two runs. The Mets uh, didn't have a lot of offense tonight. Thirteen punch-outs. The two runs they scored were helped by a Chase Utley error, so they'll have to come back with their hitting shoes tomorrow. You know, you just can't change the philosophy of being a small ball team when you're not a small ball team. Uh, and, you know, you're, you're going to ask, guy, guy, we, we got guys that go up there to swing the bat, and all of a sudden you take that away from them. And you know, tell me, hey, you got a bunt. We're going to hit and run a lot of things. You're, gonna, you're asking them to fail because they're not going to, they're not going to execute that side. Uh, it's easy to talk about. Everybody thinks these guys are mechanic, you know, they're robots that they, you can do whatever they want. And they can't. You know, that's what, there's certain things they do and they do well. So, uh, you got a night like tonight. You know, I thought that's the best I've seen Alex Wood pitch since, you know, since we saw him in Atlanta. So, uh, we'll get ready and come back tomorrow. So the Mets' three-game winning streak comes to an end game three of this four-game series Wednesday night with Noah Syndergaard on the mound against the Dodgers' Japanese rookie Kenta Maeda. Coverage begins at 9 o'clock with Cadillac first pitch Wednesday night on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.